All right, thanks, Steph. Just about 633. This morning, police still searching for the gunman that opened fire on two Birmingham firefighters. Now, these firefighters are still in the hospital this morning. They have very serious injuries. WV Temp 13's Patsy Douglas is live and local from UAB Hospital. At this hour, Patsy, what's the latest on their conditions? Well, Rick, Carlo, we're still working to get an update this morning on their conditions, but we do know that Jamal Jones is still in serious condition and uh, Jordan Melton is uh, definitely fighting for his life right now. Police tell WVTM uh, that firefighters got to work early Wednesday morning and within an hour or two, a person or people walked into the fire department and shot Jones and Melton. Of course, first responders actively searching for who is responsible responsible for this. Chief Scott Thurman with Birmingham Police Department says this is unusual for someone to target one of their fire stations. Our firefighters are there to protect and aid and rescue our, our citizens and to see that them be uh, critically injured is just very troubling, disheartening that that would happen in our community. Now this shooting all happening in the historic Norwood community. Some of the neighbors trying to make sense of the gun violence that's happening right here in our city. It's time out for all that foolishness. It's time to do, do what's right and, 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 and stop the violence because it's not making no sense. All this is just, just ridiculous, man. Again, police are still searching for who is responsible uh, for this uh, horrible situation. Of course, uh, Crime Stoppers, they're offering $10,000 for anyone that can give information. Back to you guys.